Well, we've left Park Tropical and, uh, and that's in Estepona. We've left there this morning and we've headed back east along to Mercia and we're tracking our way back now uh, towards home. Uh, we've not got to be home until for another week, but um, we are making our way that way now. So it's a beautiful sunny day. We've come up in through the mountains in Andalusia and uh, got quite a view here. We're having lunch um, on the top. Well, not right at the top of the mountain. There's a mountain behind us that's still snow capped. I'll, I'll turn the camera around and have a look. This is the last town before we started climbing the Sierra. And uh, I kept this little bit of footage in because I thought it was very Spanish, this little town, wasn't it, Sue? Mm. Yeah. And uh, quite narrow streets to get through it. But um, we were following the Garmin satellite uh, navigation, weren't we? Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the yeah. Caravan and Motorhome Club one, because we knew that um, we were coming off the motorway and into the hills. Um, I'd already looked at the route on, on um, Google, but I didn't realise. I saw the little wiggly road. I thought it might be a little bit out of the way, but I didn't realise that was, that was mountainous, and we didn't realise that Sierra meant mountain, did we? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It was in the Axie book. That's we've since we um, spoken to Helen and Martin online about this and they said that they'd been um, a year or two before and found how beautiful it was. I wish I'd spoken to them before we started this journey because uh, the road started getting narrower and uh, we were climbing weren't we and the potholes were getting it's well, really rough. Right? Really rough, yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, and you're tired because that's the end of a long journey. We've had a long travel day, haven't we? Yeah, we've been driving about three and a half, four hours. Um, it was my turn to lead, yeah. But uh, as you can see from the road surface here, it's getting quite bumpy. Mm -hmm. So we were having to slow down quite a lot, um, particularly on the turns. Kevin's behind me with his uh, slightly larger motorhome. So I was trying not to get too far ahead of him. And uh, we were just taking the time, really, weren't we, Sue? Yeah. Fortunately, there wasn't a lot of traffic on this road. And, and we'd got sufficient diesel, which was good, because we were getting a bit low, would have been yeah. worried because we didn't see any, any petrol stations. There was, to no, there was no it's fuel quite up. quite remote. Yeah, there was no fuel up here. But the, um, we, we went round one or two twists and turns here, and uh, we, we was wondering whether the road was going to get any better. So and it, it was seemed to go on for miles and miles because it was such a there's lots of um, twists and turns. And yeah. It's quite narrow. It's going uphill, wasn't it? That's right. Climbing away we are, and of course um, I've actually kept the speed of the image here at four times normal. Um, big lorry coming down it gives you a clue. There is room for us. If we can get down there, so can we. But we found these roadworks, didn't we? And this chap mm. here, I think, was a bit surprised that with two camper vans coming up the hill, um, he mm. radioed to his friends or to his colleagues, didn't he? And they they said, "Yeah, come through." But, uh, and I was smiling and waving at them all. I thought I was a mad English woman. <laughs> they? Yeah. They were, they were smiling yeah. back, weren't they? Yeah, that's right. Reminded and, uh, us when we were in the Alps in France, we had the same situation. We did, we? similar situation, yeah. But uh, here I pulled up because there was wet tarmac and they were rolling it and uh, raking it on the road here. So um, I thought, well, I'm not going to go through until they give me the command. But the fellow did uh, uh, give us the, the wave to go through and uh, that was... Uh, but if we were recommending people to go to this site, that definitely to go for more than one day because it is quite out of the way yeah it took us an hour to yeah. get up that you know an hour to get back onto the main yeah. road when we came out didn't it it did it we, was... we didn't have enough chance to enjoy it because it was beautiful when we got there weren't it stunning we? yeah absolutely stunning i mean it's quite cloudy we'd, afternoon we'd to stay for about three or four days and i had the yeah. chance that's right so we climbed uh, more hills and the road was, you know, with a new road surface now, it was much easier to drive, but still quite narrow and twists and turns. And uh, just here, I think we saw a sign um, that said camping left. left. Mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. and, and I said to Sue, I'm going to stop and speak to Kev. Had a similar name. So we, we pulled over and let that mm -hmm. car go past and uh, Kev and I had a chat and we said, no, let's carry on the way we're going. And um, Followed a Garmin. 
we followed his Garmin, um, we put our, re reset ours, didn't we, and um, continued up the hill. But, uh, still we were climbing, we had some lovely yeah. views up here, some really um, spectacular views. We thought, oh, I hope there is a space, although we only had a verbal message to say that we've got, they've got two spaces. Yeah. Nothing in writing, so you've got that doubt in the back of your mind. No, we hadn't got well, confirmed. After we've but... gone through all this journey, I really hope they've got spaces for us, <laughs> that would have been awful. That would, yeah. And then it seemed to level off, and uh, we were, all these orange trees, I think they're orange trees. We're not sure what they were. No. no. they're not vines, no. are they, because they're not connected. If you know what they are, put the um, put what you think in in the comments uh, section because we'd like as well, to know. Weren't they? I don't yeah. think they were all of trees. No, that's right. But the um, there was a junction just up ahead here. I think one. Then we turned there's, left. There's a sign that like, to the campsite. That's right. On, yeah. the, on the side of the road there, just gone yeah. past it. Yeah, and this little white car is significant because we followed him the rest of the way, didn't we? Yeah. Um, it was quite, I've cut a piece of uh, footage out here because it went on and on and on. Um, but we, uh, we did follow the little white car for some distance. And uh, eventually, again, reading the signs just to make sure we're heading in the right direction there. Um, and we continued climbing up more hills. Lovely experience. I mean, it's just that we were so uncertain about where we were going, isn't it? So, yeah. you know, and um, it was get, getting quite late in the day. I think this, by this time it was about four o'clock in the afternoon. Well, there it? weren't that many signs, were there, considering no. it's out on a limb? Mm, very quite much so. We knew that's on the edge of a, of a town. Yeah. So we're approaching the little town now, um, where yes. the campsite is. And a little white car turned round. What happened next, Sue? And I hopped out and ran over to him and, and showed him the site on my phone. And he shouted to his friend who was coming up behind him in this car that you can just see. And um, the kind man, although they couldn't speak any English, um, signalled to me to follow him and he'd take us there. So bless him, he takes us through this town. And we're so thankful that he led us there because mm. it, in some places it was really, really narrow. You could mm. imagine quite easily getting your motorhome stuck if you went down the wrong road. Well, with without him, I was getting nervous at this that, point. Up that route there, that's really yeah. narrow. Yeah. So but I was he, really uh... so thankful mm -hmm. that he took the time to take us there. Yeah. Very friendly. Um, everybody we met here were really friendly, weren't they? So the following morning you walked the route, didn't you? And you yeah. know, we asked the owners the best way, the yeah. site, the best way to leave. And they said not to turn left, didn't they? Yeah, I walked back to and the town. So, you, so here he got out and just told us that we got to go down here and turn left. And, and you, you jumped out and shook his hand. I did too and said thank you very much. And he turned yeah, round. He, <laughs> he went his, uh, back to what he was doing. But uh, even at this point, behind the conifers here is where the campsite is. But it wasn't really clear that we were at the site yet. You can see it from the side now. Yeah. yeah. Like a mesh fence. That's right. Tennis cool. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we went left here and over a little road hump. There's a bit of traffic calming just here. And then uh, the campsite was on the left. And here we are. So let's have a little look around the site. Really enjoyed this one, didn't we, Sue? Yeah. Well, good morning and welcome back to Posh Cats Camping. We're at a new campsite just for one night. And we're very sad about it because it's a little gem. Now, it's not for you if you've got any uh, unit above seven and a half metres, really. You can get them here, but it's quite traumatic. Uh, we've seen a couple of bigger units on here, up to eight metres, but it's fairly tight. You have to come through the villages and uh, along a winding tarmac road. But we made it. We made it yesterday afternoon after about uh, another eight hour day, really, um, traveling down from um, Estepona. And we're in the Alicante region. I'll show you on the map where we are and uh, the name of the campsite on the screen so that you can look it up. 
it's uh, a little bit special. We really like it here. We've uh, spent the evening chatting with the owners and other people on the site. And you can hear cars coming from at least half a mile away. You can hear a pin drop. So they must have heard us clackety clacketing along the road here. Uh, there's a car across the way now that I can hear, probably 10 minutes away. But it's, you can hear a pin drop, it's beautiful. And if you like that peace and tranquility, this might be the site for you. We'll have a quick walk around, and then unfortunately we have to get ready to leave. Um, we're heading further uh, south and east uh, this morning on our way back to Calais. You can see the campsite just up on the hill. And we'll walk around the little road here, which runs around the perimeter of the site. And this is as good as the roads get up on the Sierra. So, we have now had our coconut ice cream dessert and as you can see, both shells are empty. 